Well, I couldn't resist. We came back to Cradle Mountain because the weather was perfect. That's the back side of Cradle Mountain. That's a snow, a bit of snow. <laughs> We've come up uh, a not very well used track. Um, that's it there. And that's it there. That's the way the tracks used to be in the bad old days where we let the erosion happen. But anyway, it's another video about this anorak. Not just this anorak, you know, I want to capture some of this. Share it with you guys. Cradle Mountain Lake Sinclair. It's a popular spot, you know, people from all around the world come here. So it's a lot of people, but there are actually tracks like this, which um, not many people walk. And let me just show you. It's a bit gluggy. And up here it would be in the winter, or sometimes in the summer, covered in snow. So finding this track could be quite an ordeal. Anyway, I just wanted to mention about this anorak again, how much I love that feature. Because I'm thinking about it. When I was designing the jacket, I was really worried. Well, no, I worried a lot. I tend to think too much. Uh, I worried a lot about these zippers, for one. I don't like zippers, they break, and when they break, the thing you've got is failing. That is, admittedly, still a major fail point on the jacket, but the zippers are sewn in on top. They're not integrated into the garment, so that makes the replacement of the zipper very straightforward. If your zipper did break, it's very easy for you to unpick the zipper, with just a knife or an unpicker. And that's the bulk of the work done. You take it to someone and they can sew a new zipper straight in real quick, real cheap. Alternatively, if you're carrying a needle and thread, which if you're serious about self-sufficiency, you probably should be, you can stitch the zipper all along where the stitching has been laid to put the zipper in. You just pick up that stitching, it's a double stitch, pick up that stitching to the other side, do the other side. Very easy stitching. And that will close up the anorak for the time being, which you're out in the field or you're out in the bush. Uh, and that'll get you through. Okay, that was one of my first worries about using a zipper. And I am still thinking about another backup uh, to close it up. So my kids yelling out to back up when the zipper breaks. Not if all zippers break, so when the zipper breaks. What's the feature? Um, sorry, the feature of the repair. Self-repair. I get distracted when my kids yell out like that. Those of you out there who are parents know how your brain just goes to mush when the kids yell out. And it's always for no good reason. <laughs> Nearly always. Anyway, back to the topic. Um, the other reason uh, I worried about the zipper is the weather. You know, you've got a zipper line that's running all the way down your arm and all the way down the body, side of the body, which is normally a seam line. And that is a place where the water can drive itself in. Well, I wore this for five days in pretty rough weather up here in the high country of Tasmania. And I didn't experience that. The wind was driving, the rain was driving, and it didn't find its way in. And I was pretty surprised. I was expecting it would. But I still expect it would in like torrential downpour rain, yeah? tropical rain or something like that. Not that I'd be wearing an anorak in the tropics, but you know, really downpouring buckets. 
I'd expect it would find its way in, in that situation. But in that situation, I would expect the rain is gonna find its way in anywhere. It's gonna find its way in here, up my cuff, where my wrist, even up around my waist. And in that situation, I've found that the priority is actually to cut the wind out. You're gonna get wet, but the priority is cutting the wind out. And for that, I'm not fully experienced with the most severe weather, but for that, you wanna have a well waxed jacket, or you, if you want, you can wear the petrochemical jackets, plastic in other words, with the fluorocarbons. You wanna be sure that the wind is not getting to you, because if you're wet and the wind gets to you, that's when your temperature is gonna go through the floor. And that is life-threatening. So in torrential rain and wind, which is sometimes a feature of this beautiful alpine country, it's not so much about getting wet, you're gonna get wet. It's about keeping the wind out. And for this, the jacket has definitely done the job. So those two worry points, the first, when the zipper breaks, how can I fix it when I'm out in the bush? Needle and thread you carry, or I'm thinking to put little tabs there to button in a wool liner. And when the wool liner is not being used, or even when it's being used, those buttons are the way to cinch the, the jacket up when the, when the zipper has failed until you can get to repair. Also, the zipper has been placed on top of everything, not integrated to the jacket, so that it can be easily repaired very cheaply. Um, and the second part of the worry was, would the weather find its way in? Yes, it would probably find its way in, though I haven't experienced it yet in five days of serious weather. Um, it would find its way in, as it would find its way in in almost any point in the jacket, the neck, the wrist, the waist. <sighs> but in that situation, the wind is what you're worrying about. If the temperature is high enough, the wind has a nice cooling effect when you're walking, except getting wet. And uh, walk around with a wool jumper on. But when the wind picks up, got to put on something that stops the wind. So the short of this, another long video, but you're seeing the beautiful scenery, is I'm very happy with this, this design decision because I'm walking up here with a group of my kids and Paola, a friend, beautiful friend, um, and they're carrying their jackets now. Sooner or later, that's going to find their way into my pack here, but I'm still wearing my jacket. And we started in minus, it was freezing temperatures this morning. And I was wearing this anorak, with just my shirt under it and my scarf. And here we are in nearly 15 degrees Celsius. And I'm still wearing the anorak, and it's just cool. I'm not bothered by it. And that, for me, in my experience of jackets, is a big plus that's thanks to that continuous zipper well there's actually two zippers because they all start from just down the arm a little bit opening up all right guys <laughs> i'm raving on here aren't i cradle mountain if you haven't been to australia and you're thinking to come if the weather is good come even if the weather is bad come it's beautiful.